Good morning, just want to give you some brief information that you need to know for your test, um, stuff that you can use to be successful coming up on your test on Sunday. Um, when it comes to the five systems of government, um, be able to give me at least two positives of each system of government and at least two negatives um, on each system of government. So if you're talking about a democracy, um, some of the positives could be something like the fact that everyone has a say. Um, some of the negatives is stuff gets done really slow, okay? So be able to explain um, some of the positives and some of the negatives of those. Uh, that should out be all outlined in your um, uh, in your notes, so go back and look over those. Um, also go back and look over any of the videos I have previously made over this topic. You're gonna have stuff right there. Um, be able to explain kind of the difference, just me, give me the brief definition of what each system of government is. So be able to tell me what is a republic, um, what is a democracy, uh, what is communism, a dictatorship, um, and then what is a monarchy as well. Be able to explain those things and you will be doing all right on your test. Um, be able to talk about the difference between an authoritarian and a libertarian. In case an authoritarian is very strict, whereas a libertarian is very just kind of do your own thing, just don't hurt me and interfere with my rights, and you're going to be all right on that one. Um, be able to talk about a liberal and a conservative. Okay? A liberal is open to new ideas and change, whereas a conservative is weary of change and very traditional. Um, and a moderate someone who's just right in between. So if you can explain those, that's going to be very helpful. Um, is going to help you be very successful when it comes to this part of the test, okay? Liberals on the left, because they both have that L. Um, conservatives are on the right, just so you know that. Um, you wanna be able to explain that as well and explain the difference between a libertarian and authoritarian. Um, when it comes to economics, okay, you wanna know the two big books that are talked about um, briefly in the notes as well. Um, Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, 1776. Uh, you want to know that, okay? Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, 1776 is the foundation of capitalism. Um, and then Karl Marx and Frederick Engels wrote the Communist Manifesto in 1848, um, which is the uh, foundations of socialism. So we will explain the difference between those two, um, socialism versus capitalism, um, and where they come from. Okay, Adam Smith is a capitalist, Marx and Engels are the socialists. Okay, two people um, with equality, okay, two is an equal number, um, equality, socialism, one person, um, capitalism, figure it out, okay? Um, basically, just get stuff done. Make sure you know that information, you wanna have that taken care of. Um, you wanna know those brief vocab words for economics as well. Um, the producer, uh, the consumer, the, um, I'm trying to think of them all off the top of my head right now, the producer, consumer, um, the supply and the demand, um, and a good, okay? You wanna know what those words mean? Explain those, you'll be good to go when it comes to that. Uh, another driving force behind capitalism is competition and making money, whereas a driving force behind socialism is equality, um, making sure everyone has equal things that could be there. Um, be able to explain a possible problem with capitalism, um, how maybe you could have kind of manipulating one another, and a possible problem with communism, which is there's not really an incentive to to really get much done, um, as we found out in the simulation in class. Um, be able to explain what laissez-faire is, okay? That kind of let things go, run their course. Um, capitalism is very laissez-faire, just let things run its course, everything's going to be okay. Be able to explain to me what that actually means, and you'd be doing all right on that. Um, again, give me some of the strength of each of the five systems of government, give me some of the weaknesses of each of the five systems of government, and you should be doing okay. Um, give me some traits of a liberal, give me some traits of a conservative, get those taken care of, you're going to be good to go. Um, give me some traits of moderate as well. Okay, tell me what is a moderate, someone right in the middle, they have some liberal tendencies, and then some conservative tendencies. Be able to explain that to me, and you'll be doing all right. Um, give me the strengths and weaknesses of an authoritarian government, give me some strengths and weaknesses of a libertarian government. What might be good about them, what might be bad about them. That comes directly from the debates we did in class, which are going to explain that just a little bit more. Um, and then be able to tell me the main purpose of government is simply to provide goods and services to the people. Um, make sure you have that and you're gonna be doing okay. Um, the essay questions, okay, as I talked about earlier, one of them is going to be an opinion based. It's going to be what do you think is the best. Um, that is an instance of where you need to tell me one, what you think, and then explain to me why you think that. Um, the other one's going to be comparing and contrasting one thing to another. Um, so be able to explain to me which one of those, um, kind of how you're going to compare and contrast and moving from there. Uh, please get a hold of me with any questions that you might have moving forward from this point. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Uh, shoot me some emails if you have anything, comment down below. Have a good rest of your day and good luck on your test.